Good morning, peoples. My name is Minister Hill Malik, and I am the national spokesman of the People's Temple INC. Before I start my speech, I would just like to say I have never done nor said anything in my life that I wasn't prepared to suffer the consequences for. With that being said, I bring to you the struggle. First and foremost, I would like to give praises to the Most High, God Almighty. Without Him, it can be no us. Without faith in Him, we as a people are lost. Now, I don't know about you, but the struggle for the 22 million plus Afro-Americans in this country, in this day, can I go another day without the preparation to prevent such a struggle? It's going to become a time where revolution is indoctrinated in the hearts and minds of the Afro-American society. I can't imagine a better name to an already fixed agenda. In no shape, form, or fashion am I a racist. I actually despise racism. In fact, the same struggle we're faced with today is the same struggle our ancestors faced 147 years ago. The slave trade inflicted tremendous suffering to millions of Afro-Americans. It's not a factor of being free or being unfree. Because if you know like I know, then you know that the price of freedom is death. Knowledge itself is all we got. And with that comes great responsibility. So a revolution is our only solution. Let's take a closer look at revolutions. The American Revolution. How did it end? Bloodshed. The French Revolution. How did it end? Bloodshed. The Russian Revolution. How did it end? Bloodshed. You too scared of a revolution. As long as the white man sent you to war, you bled. When he sent you to Korea, you bled. When he sent you to Germany, you bled. When he sent you to Vietnam to fight the Vietnamese, you bled. When he sent you to Iraq to fight the Iraqis, you bled. But when it comes to our brothers and sisters being murdered, you, ain't, you run. You ain't got no job. I cited these various revolutions so that there was no peaceful revolution. In the very words of Honorable Malcolm X, there's no such thing as a non-violent revolution. The white man know what a revolution is. How do you think he'll react to you when the 22 million plus Afro-Americans learn what a real revolution is? Come on, somebody. We're talking about a struggle, huh? It's not about freedom, justice, or equality. It's about a system that's designed for us to fail. In fact, us as Afro-Americans need to come together and put aside our differences. It don't matter if you're a Christian, a Methodist, or a Buddhist, or a Buddhist. You don't catch up because you're a Methodist or a Buddhist. And you sure don't catch up because if you, if you was an American, because if you was an American, you wouldn't catch no hell. Let's be honest. You catch up because you're a black man. I would like to reiterate the difference between a black revolution and a Negro revolution. First off, what is a revolution? The motive of a revolution, the result of a revolution, and the objective of revolutions. You may change words or change your train of thought. The black revolution is a definitive account of an extraordinary but forgot chapter of the black freedom struggle. The Negro revolution is a rich history inspiring the struggle in which Afro Americans are experiencing today. Negroes revolted against the slave raiders in Africa. They revolted against the slave trades on the Atlantic Passage. And they revolted on the plantations in this country. 1848, the year following the economic crisis of 1847, was the beginning of a vicious cycle of revolutions all over the Western world. The Euro revolutions, chartism in England, were defeated in America. The impressible conflict between capitalism in the North and the slave system in the South was lifted off for the last time by the Missouri Compromise of 1850. Come on, somebody. We're talking about a struggle here. The political developments following the economic crisis of 1857 made further compromise impossible. This is what I mean when I refer to a Negro revolution and the struggle that the 22 million plus Afro-Americans face in this country. God bless. Slap.